So it's possible that people are not always going to be forthcoming or honest about their opinion. And so when you say, well, it's just an opinion, that doesn't really mean anything. There's well, a good possibility that people, if they don't like the ramifications of where a question is going with their opinion, may not answer it honestly. But you're yeah, asking but why, for an opinion. But why? Okay, but when she is saying something that's completely different from everyone else at the table, why would she put herself in a in the wrong a theoretical wrong point of view if it's not going to do her any good she could have easily lied and gone with the same opinion yeah. that everyone else wants her to say let's, let us, but well, let us test and see ground. if what you're saying if what you're saying makes sense or if what i'm saying makes sense let us assume for a second you were the only woman in that room who believed in santa claus i'm assuming you don't believe that santa claus exists correct are you talking to me or her? No. no yeah, her, you. Me, obviously. Yeah, you don't believe. But let us assume for a second you did believe that Santa Claus existed and none of the other women there did, and you said, it's just my opinion. And so then I pulled up a bunch of maps, and I showed you that but in the North Pole... But that's a fact. Hang on. Stop. That in the North Pole, there is no elves, and there is no Santa, and all the satellite imaging we have would show that if such a thing existed, everybody, you would, you would literally be eliminated because of the extreme cold, and that it, then I mathematically demonstrated for you that it would be impossible for one man to deliver toys all over the earth in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. and that magic isn't real. See what could you're that, asking... Hang on. Could that change your opinion? See, what you're asking is an opinion ba is not an opinion-based question like what Brian asked about, would you feel like you look better in 10 years' time, 20 years' time, etc. That is an opinion-based question. I can have the opinion that, you yes, I will look better. you think Santa Claus comes down your chimney uh, stop, at night? That's an opinion-based question. Stop, because I stop for you when you tell me to stop, so I'm going to tell you to stop now because I'm not done talking. Okay? So when I, when I have an opinion... You go, girl. You show me that sass. And, uh, you tell well, yeah, him. I'm not you trying to be sassy. I'm not trying screen, to be girl. sassy. You go. Uh, I'm not get trying in to, there. You're so good. See, I'm not trying to be sassy. In no way am I trying to be rude to you in any way. I'm not laughing at your opinion. I'm not trying to like be sassy in any sense, way, or form. I'm literally just talking to you, and you're telling me, stop, in the middle of my conversation. So yes, I'm going to do the well, same no, thing you until you, you pause, I was only to and let me finish my thought, because so now so you've derailed ask the question, my train of definitely. thought. Okay. Yeah, but I it was see. my turn to speak. That's why I asked you to stop, yeah. And it was my turn to speak, and you started, so that's why I said stop, and then you called me sassy. But I didn't yeah, call you names when a, you told I me to stop. I didn't call you sassy. You just you made that again. up. See? Okay. I think you just like to talk over women. I remember seeing a clip of you calling a woman a bitch on here, too, so don't even get me started. I would like to was she finish being, my thought was she being quick. a I don't care. I would like to... <laughs> you don't care? What is she like being a <laughs> okay. Like, do you think that women are incapable of being bitches? Because, man, I got to tell you, the number one insult I hear from women about other women so is this that. word. Can I She's a... Question? That's the number one insult I hear. <laughs> Can I ask Just you a saying. question? Can I ask you a question? Well, I'd like her to finish her exchange okay. for Ranch. Okay. She's, she's welcome to. No, I'm good. I'd rather not be talked over, so it's fine. It's fine. You can just... What I, all I was trying to say was that... He asked an opinion-based question, correct? So it's an opinion. What you said and your counter-argument was, do I believe in Santa Claus? If I believed in Santa Claus, that's, that's a factual question. Santa Claus does not exist. So there's no, that's not the same type of question. You're asking yeah, a I factual question rather than an opinion-based question. And yeah, I, was, and, and I want to apologize if I came off sassy by telling you to stop, but I simply did the exact same thing that you did to me. You were just yeah, do, you you know, but don't you think when, you, when well, you're you talking about an twice. opinion, <laughs> when you're saying, okay, such and such opinion, uh, don't you think that an opinion that you hold is a fact to you? This is factual to you. There's a so difference saying, between a fact it, and an opinion. Oh, really? You What's the difference? You can have an opinion about mm -hmm. anything a and it not be opinion. a personal right. opinion. Yeah. And you're asking sure. a personal opinion-based question, whether mm -hmm. you think you look better at so-and-so age, and that is up to the person that, th that thinks whatever they want to think, whether it's they look better younger, older, whatever. I'm not agreeing that I would look, I don't think I would look better in 10 years, 20 years, but I'm not going to discredit her opinion, and it's not the same as asking if Santa Claus exists. So, what if your opinion was that Santa Claus existed? Wouldn't that be a fact to you? That's not a fact, though. In, in yeah, reality, Santa Claus doesn't true. exist. I'm not saying it's true. 
I'm asking if it would be a fact to you. It's a belief, you. not an opinion. He's saying that it's a fact that when you have more wrinkles, you Does don't. anyone else understand the I argument do. that yeah. I'm yeah. giving but right yeah, now? No, 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 yes, in fact, I'll still be in your am argument. Am I coming off like you're a saying dumb that, bitch? Am I coming that, off no, no, he's like that? No, no, he's, he's, he's trying to argue with you that it's the same thing because to him, it's a fact that when you have more wrinkles, you're less attractive. Oh, when her okay. thing, she, she's saying it's a fact to her, that having more wrinkles to you, or not, and not both, more wrinkles, both are in not fact, being more mature. Both are actually not facts, attractive. they're opinions. Yeah, I know, but we can argue that all day whether Where it's Santa a Claus exists. I want to ask you a question because I have genuine, genuine yes. curiosity. So when you ask those questions and when you argue your point, you have a certain um, outlook on women in, you know, over that have certain opinions, right? Because... Uh, like to you, what does this question m mean? Like, what are you trying to change perception of those women that you have an opinion of? I'm trying <laughs> well, I'm to trying phrase to, it. <laughs> right. I, so for it? me, uh, I don't really ask the ratings question much. I just engage in it, right? So ultimately, if you're asking my perspective, I don't give a shit what any of you think. But uh, but because this is a show where we are supposed to engage with another person's opinion and what they think, I still would actually like to understand the reasoning as to how somebody can come to such absurd conclusions about things that I clearly know that they don't believe. I have mommy within, issues. Hang on. Within a series of quick questions, we can make a determination they clearly don't believe it. The same way you can if somebody says, oh, I hold the opinion Santa Claus kisses mommy every year at Christmas. You could say, okay, but I can demonstrate that you're I, holding a false belief, sorry. even if it's your opinion that it's true. I even if it. it's an opinion, hang on, even if the opinion is factual to you, it doesn't mean that it's true. So saying something like, oh, I would rate myself uh, at 40 to be more good looking uh, based on my genes uh, than not. That's my opinion. I and so therefore you can't refute it. But you can actually refute these things if you give some other commonality that a person agrees to they start to question their opinion. That's the whole point of it. I get it. So um, my question is, you have a problem with someone who's trying to argue that to them, at 40, they'll feel like you, they will look better. So you have a problem with someone that kind of doesn't go with the reality that we present. Only if it's inconsistent. Perhaps it could How be possible. It could be possible, for instance, that somebody could give a really good reasoned answer. That is, it's reasoned out well, and it's argued well, as to why they think that 45-year-old women are generally more attractive than 25-year-old women, for instance. I would be willing to listen and engage in the argument and have my mind changed about it. But that's not what happens. What happens instead is obfuscation, bullshit, lies, and everything in the world to try to avoid answering the thing which is obvious to everybody. Which so is here's what I think. Well, I'll tell you, you, I'm going to tell you my opinion. My opinion. Is it an opinion or a belief? This is my opinion. Okay, it's just an my opinion. opinion so okay, you cool. have to hold it as being valid, right? Because it's just my opinion. All of the women in the room who said they were tens are lying. That's my opinion. There was only one. Um, so w one more question. For, so without us talking in like huge generalities, if someone was like extremely, I don't know, overweight or something in all through their 20s or 30s that you would perceive as non-attractive and then they lose all the weight and then they get in shape and then they look great and, you know, t to you, obviously, they're going to be more attractive. So in that case, you would agree, right? That sure. So I would always make, I never put anything in a monolith. I would never say all anything. So I would never, for instance, say that just because on average there are women uh, who are almost no women in their 40s are going to be more attractive than their 20-year-old self. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't say that there wouldn't be some who could be, because obviously there could. So um, but that's, that's based on your so own attraction values, though. It's yeah, not but, based on but my So here's attraction the thing. I hold values. a different belief. I think that there are universal metrics for attraction. And the reason that I believe that this must be true is because cross-culturally, uh, almost in every culture, when we look at historical beauty standards even, there's remarkable similarities when it comes to the picturesque of a woman that men go for and for the types of men that women go for. Most of the statues that we see that are, in, that are showing enlightened men, for instance, they're somewhat muscular, they're tall, this kind of thing. It and seems that the men. attractiveness 
the universal metrics for this don't really change that much. I do think that culturally there's going to be some relativism when it comes to some things. For instance, perhaps there's a culture where women wear rings around their neck and it stretches their neck. And so if you see women who don't have that, you might, it might seem odd to you. It might not seem like that's an attractive feature. Whereas you, I think you would still find uh, hip ratio to breast ratio to still be attractive and this kind of thing. I do think that there are some universalities because otherwise how would you know what is or is not a healthy female to breed with? How would you know that? So to you, it's well, basically, what if in like 10 years there's something that reverses the way you look? So is this question going to be relevant to you? So is there more to, more to it or is it just based on... Because yeah, I think there was, she... Yeah, so if there was a magic, let's say there was a magic pill, or not a magic, a scientific pill, which reversed the aging process, uh, well then, what would happen then is we would still be correct, because what women would be doing is reversing their 40-year-old age to their 20-year-old age, because that's more attractive. But do you think <laughs> that, then, that's but do the you whole think, point, right? no, 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 I know, I'm saying, do you think, for, for, exa for example, if there's a woman in her 50s, and there's a woman in her 20s, and you can't really tell physically how they look, would you choose someone in their 20s that's less experienced, or someone in their 50s, but like the face, the wrinkles, physically, they kind of look similar. Today, or who's more attractive? Uh, attractive, like, so this personality, of maybe someone with more experience, so wisdom, does that play part, or is it only based on, like you can't tell the difference, who yeah, would so, you Yeah, so you can, you, can ask, uh, you can ask the same question a different way, and, and you would end up with the same exact answer. You could say, okay, if you had two 20-year-old women, and you couldn't tell that, you know, uh, or, or you had a 25-year-old woman, and you had a 20-year-old woman, or a 21-year-old woman and a 27-year-old woman, and they looked like they were the same age, would you choose based on personality traits if they were almost equally attractive? Yeah, sure, of course, that would come into it. But that really doesn't have anything to do with whether or not the tr attractiveness traits themselves were there. I think, so I, was, I, think uh, okay. I was making a question because I've heard some arguments in the past that some guys go for younger women because they feel like they are more moldable. I don't know. Yeah, but, but, but hang on. That's a yeah. different question. And I'm happy to engage with that one, yeah. too. Yeah. I do think, for instance, if we were to take your comparison, there's a 45-year-old woman who took an anti-aging pill. Now she looks exactly like her 20-year-old self. And then you have a 20-year-old woman who's next to her, right? At that point, would the beauty standard be the only thing the man is going for? Right. I still think a man would often go for the 20-year-old, the one who's innately 20, mm -hmm. right? Why? Because she would have less baggage. But mm -hmm. what if uh, the other woman is more intellectually engaging? He enjoys more time with the I think time with I think that men care far less about female intellect Not than you in my think. Experience. That's that's one. And then two, <laughs> Not in my experience. I think that they care the most about baggage. I think they care about baggage more than anything. Not in my experience, but I, he's I, also, I he's respect older, your opinion. He's an older gentleman, so I mean, he's kind of been around. Well, I'm with an older gentleman with a 50-year-old. Okay. That's so. valid. But I'm also, saying, like, everyone's... Also, okay. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm guessing that he really values you for your intellect, huh? There, there are That's what he values in you, is your intelligence. Is, is it because he can have long, oh all-night conversations with you? Yes. Or does he perhaps value you more because he thinks you're young and hot? No, no. No, of course not. Nah, nah that I doesn't even, it doesn't even See, come into is, play. This is very... This it's because is you're very mature for your age. So, <laughs> right? uh, how old do you think I am? Uh, how old do you think yeah. I am? I'm, okay. I'm older than you think, actually. So what? someone who Well, how old are you? How old do you think I am? Let's... I don't know. I would say late 20s, early 30s. I'm 34. 